Get ready to make a utensil holder. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You've found video number 23 in the Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a utensil holder. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up. If you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the utensil holder which will also be down below in the show notes, along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'm starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems with centering your clay, you can check out my video up above. With that said, Enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project I have two and a half pounds of Amico Stoneware 46 buff clay. To open your clay use both thumbs to press down in the center. Then place your anchor hand on the side of the clay and use your fingers to continue opening. After opening the clay, you want to check the thickness with your needle tool and make sure you have at least a half an inch of clay on the bottom. You want to have some weight on the bottom. You also want the sides to be a little thicker to prevent the utensils from tipping the holder over. Keep your fingers steady as you slowly bring up the walls of the cylinder. Don't forget to sponge the water out from time to time. If the water sits too long, it will start to weaken the clay. When the cylinder flares out, as it naturally does with the centrifugal force of the spinning wheel, make sure your hands are nice and wet, then collar it in by slowly squeezing the clay together. If you feel any friction on your hands, add more water to the clay. Your utensil holder should be at least 6 inches tall.
you want the pressure of your fingers to stay consistent to keep the thickness of the sides even throughout your piece. I'm using a large red rib to get rid of the slip and a metal scraper to smooth out the cylinder. Then put a nice edge on the bottom with the Ultimate Edger. To see more things you can do with the Ultimate Edger, check out my video. I left a link for you in the description below. Once the holder is bone dry, into my scut kiln it goes for a bisque fire at cone 04. It's important to wash the holder with a damp sponge to ensure the glaze will bond nicely to the piece. Apply a little wax resist to easily get any glaze off the bottom. After the wash and wax is all dry, it's time to glaze. Pour Amico Blue Rutile Glaze on the inside of the utensil holder. As you pour out the glaze, make sure you rotate the holder and place it upside down so the glaze doesn't pool on the bottom. Then apply a coat of blue rutile on the outside with the medium size hack brush. Load up your brush and let the glaze float across your piece. Always mix your glaze well and put it through a strainer. This catches any clumps or debris that may be lurking in the glaze. After the first coat is dry, apply a second coat of blue rutile on the outside only with the medium size hack brush. If you're new to glazing, check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link for you in the description below.
Once the second coat is dry, float on a third and final coat of blue rutile. After the third coat is dry, it's time for a pearl white dip a quarter of the way down. The Spectrum Pearl White flows down nicely with other glazes. Once the glaze is dry, it's time for one more pearl white dip. After the glaze is dry, into my scud kiln it goes for a final fire at cone 5. Here's the finished utensil holder. It's a nice size holder and it has good weight to it so it won't tip over easily. I like the glaze combination. It melted down the side pretty good and it matches my berry bowl and spoon rest. I really like it. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own utensil holder. You can check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.